what is going on guys and uh, I'd like to start off this commentary by saying hopefully you guys enjoyed your Christmas or your holidays or whatever you believe in um, but I know I enjoyed my Christmas very much I had a good time I got some good presents um, you, you know I I, I'm, I mostly enjoy the part where I get to spend it with my family because uh, I don't have much family that uh, I actually get to spend it with so uh, the time I do get to spend it with um, you know I guess it's a good thing right but uh I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got a new microphone. I got a blue snowball for Christmas, which is always cool. And, uh, you know, I've been using the uh, built-in um, microphone from my uh, desktop um, for a while now. And um, it's not like it was a bad thing, but, um, you know, this microphone is going to be a lot better. So hopefully you guys can notice a difference um, because, you know, um, I think... I think there was a bit of a problem with the old mic. It started like picking up uh, too much background noise, but um, this right here is some search and destroy gameplay on the map Bakara, I believe it is. And um, I'm not a big search player, but this gameplay is a little old too. But uh, like I was saying, uh, search and destroy actually used to be my roots. What I used to go and play um, pretty much during all of MW2, which is. Um, you know, something I never play anymore, and I shied away from it over time, and, uh, you know, I don't know what brought me back to play. I think, uh, my friends, the party that they invited me to was playing it, and, uh, it's my friend Bernion. He's a really cool guy, um, you know, they, they play Search, um, from time to time, right? And, um, you know, I've never felt, like, I know I've been over this multiple times now, the part where I say that I can never capture that moment like I did in Modern Warfare 2, where... You know, I just couldn't wait to play it, and, you know, it's my very first Call of Duty. But I don't think there's a Search and Destroy that compares to Modern Warfare 2 Search and Destroy. I don't know if you guys even know what I mean by this, but um, Search and Destroy is my favorite game type because I love the part where I had, I was a big part to my team. Like you are in every game mode to the most part, but it's just like... If I die just once, I could lose us the game, you know what I mean? And uh, I love the part where I used to be able to last guy alive and I'd clutch it and, uh, you know, people would be like, oh, and, you know, you have your whole team just watching you, watching your every move and, like, watching the decisions that you make. And I don't know what it was about Modern Warfare 2 Search and Destroy, but um, as soon as Black Ops came around, I just suddenly stopped playing Search and Destroy. Just suddenly stopped out of nowhere. And, um... I don't know why it was that I did that. Um, I think I kind of lost interest in the game mode itself. But, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 3 Search and Destroy is good. It, I like it better than Black Ops's. But um, I don't know if I, it's even right to compare um, one game mode from different Call of Duties. They, like, it's nothing changed about them. I just lost interest over Call of Duties. I go back to Modern Warfare 2 now, and I'll still play Search and Destroy. And I enjoy it. But I'll go to a different game, and I just... It, I don't have the same feeling. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just something that that game in particular captured that, um, you know, I really enjoyed at the current time. But um, who knows, you know, there, there could be a lot of reasons why. Maybe I just moved on to different game modes because uh, mostly now I play Domination and uh, Kill Confirmed and a bit of Team Deathmatch. And talking about Team Deathmatch, um, I recorded my very first live session with my uh, Blue Snowball. And, uh, you know, I just got some new software for Christmas, too, so I can uh, actually do some uh, live commentaries that are actually not, um, that don't take, like, five days to make through, uh, you know, my old programs. And I can just do them whenever uh, I feel like now, which is always cool. And I also found out how to record people's uh, voices through my PlayStation and Xbox now, which is also really cool as well. So I might do some um, live commentary sessions. I've already done one, and uh, it was just a TDM for the win. And what I'm going to be doing with that is, uh, I just did it yesterday, actually. I'll probably upload it. I'm not 100% sure. It depends if you guys, uh, you know, what you guys want to see. I, I'm assuming you guys won't mind seeing it, but um, it's it's kind of like what I did from Black Ops. Um, I know not very many of you were subscribed to me during Black Ops because I didn't have um, a whole big fan base. Because that's when I just started, don't forget, with Black Ops, but... Um, I started off on how to do good in Team Deathmatch, and um, I think um, I kind of captured that same feeling like I did uh, with this past uh, live commentary session. But um, this gameplay is coming to an end here. I skip out this round because it's really boring, and I get one kill and I die, unfortunately. And uh, damn Martyrdom gets me. It ruins my flawless 8 and 0, which is really ridiculous. Um, that's one thing I actually have a problem with is death streaks, but... You know, we won the game, so that's really all that counts. And uh, an 8-1's not an amazing search score, but, you know, 
for the time I played, it was the best gameplay I got. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, rate the video and have some good holidays, guys. Bye.